Why is my webcam not there? Um. Weird. Okay. Well, that's a thing that exists. Um. <laughs> Hey. Welcome Minecraft. Welcome to chat. Hello. I did a 24 hour stream on Saturday and this is the first time I've been back and I am still tired. Um, but it went really well. Um, friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people who are in possession of souls, welcome. On that said 24 hour stream, I started this wonderful game. And you know what? As a thing, both me and my partner do the shiny pebble thing, right? So, I can't remember if it's penguins or otters, but if one of them finds a pebble, they go and show it to their partner. And you do it with TikToks, you send your friends TikToks, Dolly is always sending me TikToks, I'm sending them TikToks, it's great. Absolutely fabulous. This is my shiny pebble game. I've got into Dolly, I think, two or three times, maybe, today. Like, once in the kitchen, once in the bedroom, and been like, I just did this really cool thing in Armored Core. And, um... They don't care. It's giant robots. It's not Dolly's thing. But I am absolutely loving this game. Interestingly, the reviews of it are all over the shop. Some people expected it to be Elden Ring. Some people aren't happy that it's as Armored Core as previous Armored Cores used to be. I never played a previous Armored Core game. I'll go on the record. This game is absolutely fabulous. Oh, I'm so happy about it. It's literally... It's so... It's so good. It's... It's... I have no words. But for some reason, I will say, it keeps changing my input devices thing to mouse and keyboard as opposed to controller, which is very strange. Um, I have a thing. I've got a logo now. My friend Wistan designed me a logo, so I now have a Bok Bok logo I can put on my giant robots. Uh, what else has changed since I streamed? Uh, I have a bunch of new robots that we're gonna show. I'm gonna show off because I've been. I don't tend to. I don't tend to build stuff from scratch in these sorts of games. So I've been doing. I've been doing what is the. If you've ever played like Hearthstone or any of those card-based games, net decking. I've been doing whatever the equivalent of net net making. I'm coining a phrase. Net making. I've been going onto YouTube videos and looking at all sorts of different content relating to it, and I've been finding these different mechs, and I've been sort of tinkering with them to my preference, and I, it's just... I have spent the last two days doing this. Oh, it's so good! Um, we should probably do some stream admin, though, <laughs> before I get too carried away, and then we're just going to have a nice chill stream, nice sort of walk back into the community after, after Saturday. Um... 24 hours is a very long time to be live. Um, I got exactly out of that stream that I wanted to, what I wanted to. I did the 24 hours, which has been a target for me in 2023, and I'm amazed that I achieved it. It was the, literally the last time I was going to be able to attempt it this year, and I'm so happy that I managed it. Um, if you ever do a 24-hour stream, um, one piece of advice I give to you, do short ones first, like build up. I did a 10 hour and then a 16 hour and then a 24 hour. And still with the 24 hour stream, around the seven hour to go mark, I wanted to die. I could have quit then. I wouldn't have given a shit. I would like to thank Dolly Whiskers for sort of like spurring me on at that time. Um, they also did a food delivery uh, and came in with non-alcoholic free, non, non-alcoholic beer and chocolate and shit. So if I do another one, I know to have like a treat at the end to sort of spur me on. But it was so good. And it wasn't about follows. It wasn't about subscriptions, but people were generous too. Um, and yeah, I don't know where we go from here. Actually, I know exactly where we go from here. I've updated the thing in my Twitch profile that was previously the frog and chicken logo. It now has demisexual and proud written on it, which I'm very happy with. Um, um, I'm going to do it to myself again, Jade, but Dolly has made me promise to leave it six months. I'm going to do another 24 hour. I've learned. So if I do, if and when I do one, a couple of things, yeah? I with the 24 uh, with the with the 10 and the 16 I did not manage my food and water intake properly at all. I was so on point 
with the 24 hour stream i i drank like four liters of water the entire day which is record numbers for me um i also had various foods i didn't have anything too bulky i had protein i had nuts i had dried fruit um and it was good and i felt reasonably energetic the entire time um until the seven hour mark at the end and then i just started eating junk food and drinking beer and that just just that just carried me through to the end a few things the consistency of my content i found a bit strange and i was told afterwards that it was fine but it, it was like probably a mental component for me i did armored core stray gods fallout 4 so i segmented it into eight hour per in my brain i segmented the day out into eight hour segments armored core was absolutely fantastic i've already said at the beginning of this stream absolutely love this game i am so pleased with it i'm probably not going to ever put it on the schedule so i'm going to play it off stream but i can come on i can i can chat about it it can be a game that i play occasionally i'm existing in this franchise or adjacent to this franchise and it's absolutely great i'm discussing with friends brilliant stray gods love stray gods to bits i played stray gods in its entirety on the stream on stream before i played a second go through thinking that the choices would make a massive difference and they made some difference but not enough and because stray gods was primarily dialogue based i felt i i was saying less i was really into armed core and i was just like blah, 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 blah. and then i played stray gods and then i stopped talking and then by the time i got around to doing fallout 4 which i that which generally needs me to talk again i struggled to get back up to that level of consistency so next time i do a 24 hour stream if i do a 24 hour stream it's me i'm probably gonna um i need something i need like a, I, it's very good to segment the day into various games but i need something i need games where i can be sort of like consistent level of engagement with the camera the entire day and I highly recommend anybody else that does something along those lines the same. Try to... Consistency is key. I've said this before in terms of how I generally operate as a human being. Re be realistic. Consistency is key. Everything's a fuck up. I went into it not expecting to get... Of on, on those three things. And I feel like I'm preaching. And I'm going to stop preaching any time now. I went into the 24-hour stream thing. That's five gifted subs. That's not what I was... Lork in Minecraft gifted a tier one sub to the little red panda. Um, thank you, Lork in Minecraft. <laughs> Lork in Minecraft gifted a tier one sub to Kev. That's not what I was going for, but thank you very much, Lork, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I will finish my point and then we'll get to the actual game in a second. Lork in Minecraft gifted a tier one sub to Grace1957. Lork in Minecraft gifted a tier one sub to Hello in Glitter. Lork in Minecraft gifted a tier one sub to Axinem. Thank you, Lork, and I appreciate it. Um, but my final point, and then I will actually play the game that I'm here to play because it's been like 15 minutes. Oh, my things are happening! <laughs> Everybody, it's time to spin that wheel. Fuck it, it's my favorite one. That means that, that, that that's got to be something. Why is that not coming up? Thank you. There we go. Um, I live by three rules in my life, and I highly recommend you consider doing the same, because as a crazy person that thinks this stuff's important, it's very, it's very useful professionally, socially, like privately. It's all, all great. I have three rules. Be realistic. I did a 24-hour stream, not expecting follows, not expecting subs, not expecting bits. I wanted to do it as a challenge for myself, and I did it, and that felt great. I did not expect it to, like, double my following or anything like that. I, that, 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 I was realistic about it. Be consistent. I didn't feel the content was consistent, which is where my brain is struggling with the entire thing. And everything's a fuck up. I had like nine different games I could have flexed into and I pushed through Stray Gods when I probably shouldn't have. Um, so I should have flexed and then I should have gone on to Fallout 4 and the ending would have felt much better and maybe at that seven hour mark I would have felt like, like I would have felt like it was sort of well rounded. But either way, I got exactly from the 24 hours what I wanted. I have achieved something this year that I set out to do at the very beginning. And next, I've updated the artwork in my Twitch profile, which I was about to talk about. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Jade Melodica gifted a tier 1 sub to its That's Masoud not what this is about! <laughs> Jade Melodica gifted a tier one <laughs> sub to my ad. <sighs> Jade Melodica gifted a tier one sub to his Ariel Ma. Let's let him finish. Let's let him finish talking. Jade Melodica gifted a tier one sub to Bryank sixty four. Jade Melodica gifted a tier one sub to the Carolina Ash. I've completely lost my train of thought. I had one final thing to say. What was it? Oh, I did the 24 hour stream. That was the challenge for the entirety of 2023. I achieved it. The last point I could manage it. Next, I think it is reasonable considering I've done it in 12 months to double my following by the end of 2024. So I would really like the next challenge, which is a little bit more passive and I don't, and I will like I suppose the stuff I have to do is like engagey stuff and sort of keep everything fresh. But the thing I would like to do next is double my following by the end of 2024. So in theory, 25 followers by the end of this year is very doable. And then 300 more followers in the following 12 months, considering I've done 300 in my first 12, should be doable as well. That's the next challenge. So in terms of like me doing stuff that's healthy for myself, I'm not going to be eating any like ridiculous hot sauces. I'm not going to be like stressing myself out with 24 hour streams. If I do another one, great. If I don't, that's fine. Just going to work on it. Just going to work on this Twitch thing because I'm absolutely in love with the entire process and it makes me feel so good about myself. And thank you, everybody, frog and chicken community, the, the 10 gifted subs that I've received in the last 18 minutes is great. And how did I guess that it was 18 minutes? It's actually 17 minutes, but the 18 minute guess is very close. Thank you, TLB, for the hydrate. Ah, uh, shit. Um, we did all joking aside, Sky, with the thirty-six hours. We did discuss how we would practically do a hundred hours. If I said next year it's a hundred-hour challenge, so every bank holiday in England next year, I do the on the Saturday, I do a twenty-five-hour stream. By the end of the year, I will have met a hundred hour challenge, but it wouldn't be all at once. Um, I'll think about that. Nothing set in stone with that one, but I'll think about it. Um, okay, we're going to turn the music off. We're going to turn this music game up. So, frickin, frickin, oh god, this game is so good, everybody. It's so good. Um, I'll let me introduce you to my robots. We have a tank, and his name is Thank You Very Much. We have a thick boy robot, and I've named this in honor of Kurt Cuddly, Curiously Cuddly Cryptid, because they were literally, they were in my stream from midnight till 10 a.m. watching me play this game. So I have named this one after uh, Curiously Cuddly Cryptid, in honor of, Cur the, the robot is called in honor of Curiously Cuddly Cryptid. Um, we have another one called Stabatha who is primarily based around melee attacks. I love it. Um, we have a horse one that is called Arissa Probably. And then we have a thin guy with two mounted shoulder cannons called Sparky Boom Man. Um, yeah, so we have an Avatar reference. We have an Overwatch reference. I don't know where Stabatha comes from. I can't imagine I've invented that, but I like it anyway. Curiously Cuddly Cryptid. And thank you very much. Also, I've gone one step further as well. I've given them AC names, but the AC names are this is how this is how shiny pebbly this game is to me. I used to know a roller derby person who went by Stabber. That, that is it's I should meet them one day. They're great. That's a good that's a good name. But I have taken I'm shinily pebbling this game so freaking hard. I have given each of these robots a serial number. So thank you very much is T A N K Y V M one two three, and it sort of proceeds down the screen from there. Um, don't judge me. That just don't judge me. Um, we are going to do some story, so we're going to go in with the standard, and I'm just going to chat. Um, 
obviously I've done a lot of information about what I've been up to in the last three or four days. So please, has anybody done anything of particular interest that we can tap you on the back on the like pat you on the back for? Because I wanna I wanna share some of the I've achieved a goal and I wanna share some of that some of some of that good feeling with everybody in chat right now. Uh load. This is this is it. We're going with this chonky gentleman. Um we'll do something very, very quickly. When I streamed this before, we had a pink job based off the uh, pink and blue um, stuff that I have on my OBS screen. So you you can all see it right now. My overlay, that's the word that I'm looking for. I've taken a different position and gone with chicken colors. So we have an eggshell white, red and gold, and there's a little bit of brown and a light brown derivative, but still, I'm absolutely in love with the design of this game. And I, wa I went on for fucking ages about it when we were playing. Please, please, if there are any game developers, I don't, I doubt there are any game developers in chat right now. Please, can we make it a known thing that everybody, every game that is ever released ever that has some sort of customizability in it, I would like to be able to assign colors by their RGB derivative. It's just so much better when people do that. This is the audio slider all over again. But RGB colors, please, in 2023, always. 23, uh, uh, RGB colors. Uh, I actually left the house today for something other than just going to work. Leek, I'm proud of you. How did that go, though? My computer keyboard died, but it gave me an opportunity to buy a really cute typewriter ke uh, keyboard called a Heartbreaker. Not something that I necessarily did, but something that makes me happy. I mean, I can appreciate that. Dolly recently replaced their keyboard because we both had performance keyboards. I, I thought I thought they were crazy at the time, but they replaced their keyboard with the lovely like pink and purple Logitech like circular button keyboard. Keyboards are very important. You need to look at it's in front of you all the time when you're sat at your PC. Aesthetically, it needs to please you. And if that pleases you, Jade, it's not it's that's great. I'm happy for you. Um went out to chat for a Chinese for ch ch I I'm jealous there's no good Chinese around here but but, but uh, did they have a good birthday I looked in their stream for a little bit uh shadows but uh stream for a little bit like did they have a good birthday um Lorcan got a steroid injection in direct injection directly into the hip I mean good that your hip might feel better um I can't imagine a, an injection into your hip felt good so that's less good feeling and more I feel a tingling around that area of my body right now. Oh, that's the one I got, but mine is pink and red. The Logitech one. Oh, it's so good. That keyboard, I can't type on it for shit, but they were so happy about it that they got it. She had an awesome birthday. We even sang happy birthday, so he was embarrassed. It was brilliant. Cool. I'm very glad that you embarrass Shadow. Um, and, I, you know, send them my best if you, you'll inevitably. I don't speak to Shadow privately, so send them my best and wish them a happy birthday from us. Um, I do wish it had a numpad. Yeah, I I touch type and I can't touch type on Dolly's keyboard at all. Um, it's all very off, and I think it's the lack of the the lack of numpad as well. It means my hands feel consistently too close together. But yes, paint job, paint job for the robot. Uh, what else have we done? We are going to go with this gentleman. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. We're going to hop in. Well, do I did reply to you as well. I've just seen the message. Okay, I'll check it in the Discord after I finish streaming. Thank you for responding. Uh, we are actually going to do a fight because I'm just going to sit here talking. We're 23 minutes in and you've not seen a robot go pew yet. Um, we're not replaying any missions. Um, when I finished my stream the other day, I can't imagine too many people were here at like 10 a.m. on a, on Saturday. But um, the last time I streamed, we were doing the attack, the watch point mission. It is a boss that a lot of people on the internet are upset about. I managed to do it yesterday whilst I was recovering from the 24 hours. I will not be doing it again on stream. That boss was actively really difficult. So we're just going to move on. We're just going to... We're just going to move on. Here's the request from Balan Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aulian Ocean. 
This is the intercontinental cargo launcher installed on the upper level of grid 086. An intercontinental cargo launcher. It's a gun that fires things to other places as a method of transport. Outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Be prepared Thank for you, a journey. I'll be here to support you, Raven. Thank you, Ayer. Big, uh, I think Jules Verne proposed a similar system. A, a gun to fire things as a method method of transportation, a uh, storage trample, transportation. That seems impractical. Uh, we're going to go with this tanky gentleman first. Um, the, another good thing about this game, you can switch up your robots if you get stuck very easily. So we're just going to go with this and see how we fare. Let me handle getting us into the grid. But I love I love my robots so much. <laughs> they make me so happy. They're all color coded chickens. Ooh. Uh, obviously, also, this is Scary Games. I'm aware that the schedule was missed again. Um, scary Games will be back on Sunday next week. Commencing infiltration to grid 086. Creating backdoor into system. Look at me! Connecting steam cylinders. Launching. This makes the like work, shall we? this makes my inner child scream with happiness. In a little little chimkin loved robots. And it's go go go. Let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. Also, giant robots on roller skates. What's not long to, what's not to like? Who's this? That's a right big chicken mech. Kirby, 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 Kirby. This is the this is the robot I named after you. How has your day been? How is your how is um moving your flatmate or new flatmate or generally doing something relating to flatmates? You just walked straight in here. Hope you're watching, boss. Leave it to Invincible Rubble to show our guest a good time. Marine registration found. AC identified as Mad Stomp. Oh my god, stand still! Whoa! Uh, you're no ordinary tourist! No. There he goes. Mad stuff. Hostile AC destroyed. I blew him up. He died. Looks like you're having fun, tourist. I'm not a tourist. You know, I, I have a color coded I robot. Hate you. I don't think you can call me a tourist. I have a cups. I have a custom paint job. Where are we going? Up there. Yeah, it's been a day. Our old roommate has not exactly been cooperative, but our new roommate, roommate is pretty cool. I'm glad to hear that. I. I'm going to find. I'm going to sound very, I know how lucky we are to own our own property. It it took a lot of saving and I know not everybody is in that situation. So let me preface this entire line of thought with that. I am so happy that I never have to think about a roommate other than Dolly again. And animals, because we're just going to have cats and frogs our entire life. But still, 
I sympathize greatly because that sounds like something Kirby that I would just not get on with mentally. The older I get, the, you know. She joined them three years ago, bringing with her a crew of junk wizards and hackers. What's a junk wizard? Within half a year, she seized total control and greatly expanded their operations. Junk wizard? You get to do one of these. Look, 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 look. Whee! Super robot on roller skates. Anything up here? No. Stop calling me a Tory. Oh shit. What the hell is that? Well, you I've been practicing. I was not this good on Sunday. Oh, Saturday. Not that I would say I'm necessarily good now because I am an only, only on chapter two, but still, I was. Oh, I've been practicing and it's so good! Don't fire rockets, they hit the ceiling! I'm a thick robot. I'm a thick robot boy. Hello! You called me a Taurus, so I'm here to explode you. And then I go and spoil it all, like, by doing something stupid, like explode you. Bum, 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 bum. Hello? Up here. Uh, there we go. I will take it. Hello, anything down there? The uh -huh. How do I get down there? There's a chest down there. I think I've missed it. It might it was probably downstairs. Never mind. There's all sorts of hidden items in this game, which I keep forgetting to use the scanner for, so I just don't find them. I'm gonna have to play this game about a billion times, I think, to find everything. But it has got New Game Plus, so the difficulty is on, like, a slope. Cinder Carlo. You should hire me. I have a custom paint job. Hello? Nice, nice. Uh, the levels. A lot of people are complaining on the internet that the levels are fairly basic, and I just, as a, as a, as a world-building thing, this game is pretty. 
Like, this game is actively really nice looking. The platforming might feel simple, but it makes me feel like a badass, and that's all. Oh my goodness. I was talking to chat. Um, it makes me feel like a badass, and that's all I can ask for. Uh, a kick, land, thank you. Rad. Picking up multiple MTs. Try carefully. I see him. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. One. Two. Barely forgot your fireworks. I got hit by whatever that was. Anybody else? Right, I took those ones out That's passively. That. That's fine. You've made your point. Nice surrender. It's just not worth the losses. Come on, I'll let you through. Up along now. I don't. I don't believe you. Let's see what she has up her sleeve. I. I don't. I. I. I feel like this is a trap. Oh, yeah. It's a trap, because why else would there be a res resupply bait thing? Hooray for refresh potions and ammo! Wee! I keep calling them potions. I officially, like, potions in, like, modern contemporary games, fine. Like, medicine could be potions, theoretically. I don't think I can call a repair kit for a robot a potion, but I still don't like whatever that is um hmm too bad this is goodbye so it was the dozers are certainly living up to their reputation it's some kind of autonomous demolition book a rather well equipped one those grinder arms can easily destroy the sea. Be careful. Get off the... Oh my... Percent. Goodness. It's so big, it's really hard to maneuver around it. And now it's breathing fire. That's a new woo. Somebody give me a new woo. No, you're not putting me in there. Mm. Ow. Get off the wall. Everyone get on the floor. Stop flying towards it. Fly away. Everybody loves a dinosaur. 
<laughs> ah yes, in Elden Ring you fight large dragon. In Armored Core you fight building. AP at 50%. That way, thank you. Right hand ammunition at 50%. Left-hand ammunition at 50%. Just gonna sit over here. Oh! I felt that on my ear. <laughs> Thank you! Holy shit! Enemy systems offline. Complete shutdown confirmed. Lord Quinn, I hope your hit feels better. Thank you for the gifted subs and I'll see you soon. One more. I guess playing nice is a smart choice here. Holy shit, I'm tired now. Let me show you the way. I killed your giant robot. Let's be friends. I made that look very professional, just gonna say. BLB, thank you for the hydrate! Weird. OBS says... Are you having a no moment, OBS? Messages. No, maybe not. Sorry, ignore me. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Carla. This could just be another one of her traps. But after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. I left an impression on Carla, Let's everybody. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. I mean, I should say Uwu because I put it in my go live notification today. Um, how do I feel about what I just did? Do I need anything? I've been grinding so hard on this game. I have just been buying everything under the sun. Uh, uh, yeah, I needed to replace... I, I, I sold everything that I had in my inventory to fund one robot and then spent the last two days grinding to get, like, five robots that I specifically wanted. So now I just need to replenish all of the stuff that I sold. Um, let's go vertical rockets because we're going to need those eventually and also vertical rockets because we are going to need those eventually. How much have we got left? 75? Ugh. I'm getting there. 75. Okay, we bought that. Oh, 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 oh. One thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do something very quickly. When I was streaming this game on Saturday, I was really upset that there wasn't a dual-wielding sword build. I found the closest thing to it. Um, which is why this robot is called Stabitha. Uh, we're going to load into Stabitha and I'm going to show you how Stabitha works because it is... There is a thing in this called a weapon bay. There's like passive upgrades you can give to your robot under OS tuning. Pardon me. Um, you unlock these po the points that you buy these with through doing the arena. One of the things in this is a weapon bay. Uh, a weapon bay is super interesting because reasons. It allows you to have... So this robot that's in front of you right now, it would usually have two shoulder modules and two hand weapons. Um, the weapon bay allows you to turn one of those shoulder modules into a weapon, a hand weapon slot. So what I can do is have a giant melee spike on the one hand, which I can then switch out very quickly to a sword that's on the back shoulder. And it allows me to do a very large spiked punch 
whip my sword out and then swish my sword about and then rotate back to the spike punch and it works like that. So we're going to do one level very quickly just to see because this is this is as close to dual wielding swords as I can possibly find and it pleases me. Uh, let's do that one. It makes me happy. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Okay. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. It makes me real happy, chat. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy. This game. This is... Like, I don't intend to play it on stream as, as a scheduled game, but this... I talked about it when I played it through originally. I know it's a From Software game, so this kind of makes sense, but this feels streaming-wise to me like streaming Elden Ring did when I played Elden Ring. It's just so brain-happy. Oh. Okay, so... Get in there, you maggots. We do a... Let's, let's skip those and actually fire a robot. Uh, we punch the... the wise guy who we the punch the robot! And then we do that to the robot! And then we switch back to the sword and miss, and then that's it. One target destroyed. By the time you have hey, freelancer, and no one even told you why we're here. Well, us real red guns are gonna go climb the wall. Ow! This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Goodbye! Can't take yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Why don't you start a sewing club together and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? By the time... So the way this robot works... Oh my god, where are you? Anything else? Okay. So the way this robot works is... All of the stuff on it has a cooldown. Like, even if you... Stop talking! Done? Oh my god. Um... Hope you're enjoying the field trip, kid. Don't wet your pants now. <laughs> Does this guy ever shut up? Gun five. Oh no luck with a sewing club, I see. That attitude I'm just gonna, won't get too far on Rubicon. I'm just gonna move on. You'll pilot better than you sew. Okay, he's finally stopped talking. Holy shit. Um, this robot has can do this. It can switch weapons, right? So it can switch to a sword and then back to the spiky fist. How this works, everything that's equipped to it has a may it has a cooldown. So I can do the punch, I can switch to the sword, I can do the swish, and by the time I switch back to the punch, I can just about do a second punch. Jinkin, hi, hope you're doing well today. Light, welcome to chat. I hope you're having a good day. Um, we'll do the usual spiel, Light. Have you achieved anything the last couple of days that we you want patting on the back for? Did you see a particularly nice looking dog whilst traveling somewhere? Tell us about it. While I blow robots up. Which is equally as satisfying as a nice pretty dog. And if it's not as satisfying, it's pretty damn close. Uh... I missed. Hello? Beshorex, we're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I made some art stuff for streams. What stuffs did you make? I've said this before. Not necessarily to you, but if you are making your own utility stuff for your overlays and shit, I'm super jealous because I am not very artistic and I have to buy all my stuff on Etsy. So if you can have a thing in your brain that you that where you go, I really want that. I can make that. I'm jealous because I can't do that. And I'm completely reliant on people with Etsy shops to do it for me. Um, I finished my vault door open animation and I'm working on a new chibi to update emotes. Ooh. I can't wait to see that. I look forward to seeing that. Um... For sure, X. I am okay. It's Monday, but it's been a day off in the UK, so I've basically played video games all day. Are you okay? Two repair kits remaining. Do you hear me, you corporate vultures? The Rubiconians will never yield. Nice try, you missed. Armored coffins. 
Forge to Nash! We stand as one! Hot dog, they got an AC. More like an old School hasn't job. started yet, so it's yeah, I kind of slept all day. You know, every once in a while. Exactly days like that are there. absolutely brilliant. I mean, I say every once in a while. If you are happy to be sleeping all day, that's good. If you're happier for having been sleeping all day, is what I mean. Would you stand still so I can shoot you with my gun? Independent mercenary, why be a mere pawn? What honor is there in serving corporations that exist only to kill and plunder? Almost and pop. Got him. Scavengers. Oh. Father I've failed you. Also, I like the legs on this one because it's like it's like a lady walking in high heels, and you might say, "But Shinkin, like I like the legs. Look how animated the legs are. It's just so pretty." Looks like we got competition. Yep. I mean, I would say if that's a lady's legs, they they have very thick shins. No, not shins. Calf muscles. Right hand ammunition at ten percent. Stand still so I can punch you. You dead? You dead. Uh. One more target remaining, 621. Really? Oh, I missed one. Just me casually going over here too quickly. Am I out of ammo? Oh, I am. Nice. Looks like my good for nothing's were good for something after all. And that is how that is how my melee orientated robot works. And it makes my brain this is it's not as good as two swords, but it'll do. It's not as good as two swords, but it'll do. Another side effect of the 24 hour stream. I'm drinking bottled water because we have so much bottled water left over, it's ridiculous. I'm I'm developing a taste for it. And I can't decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh part shop. We're just buying up the store now. Let's get some nice 12 gauge shotguns. One uh uh two uh uh I'm running out of stuff to buy on the store. Um, mission. AC data. We are going to do another mission. And we are going to do it with in honor of CCC. Load. Was this? This one feels good. Uh, sortie mission. Eliminate the dozer faction. Uh, eliminate the Junker Coyotes, a dozer faction invading grid. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, my favorite little tourist. Ah ha ha, ha ha ha. Um, I promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. Anytime, Carla. You see... A certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. Sorry. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. Is a dozer a the junker bulldozer? Coyotes. You never did get on. 
I mean, aesthetically, those are very Always interesting. Sniffing around and snapping at our heels. Why do all those robots have rib cages? <laughs> They're dull company, tourist. Stop calling me <laughs> a thing, tourist. Though. They're using RADMTs, hot from the black market. They might be a pack of dumb animals, but at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. Ah, whatever. You know what to do. Now get out there. She sounds like she's hella flirting with you. I think, Kirby, you've got a, like... You, you made certain promises about Lazel in Baldur's Gate 3, and I'm very disappointed. Like, I think we have different ideas of what flirty is. It sounded very threatening. Like, I blew up all her shit, and now she's, she's sending me in to solve another problem. Um... Uh, if anybody was uh, uh, if anybody was interested, I'm not streaming Baldur's Gate 3, so in the grander scheme of things, it means absolutely nothing to you, but I am totally romancing Lazel. Lazel, Lazel is brilliant as a character. Love him. Uh, and I will hear no rough words about it. Wow, you've only reached the first love scene. Actually, I've slept with that character twice, I'll have you know. We're, 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 we're going steady. The people stay... Oh my god, that's 90s TV, isn't it? The people still say, going steady. I don't think it's an... It's not an English thing. I think it was an American thing. This sort of either. But we shouldn't miss this chance. I'll support you. That's different from the love scenes there. I mean, everybody. I'm. I. I'm now experiencing what people were talking about. Everybody in that game is hella thirsty, so thirsty, unbelievable. Main system activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. They're already moving in, Raven. Let's handle that. Has she asked you about proving you're worthy of loving, claiming her? No, she keeps denying that we're in love. Every time I speak to her, she's like, yeah, I I, I just slept with you, um, but we're not actually a thing. So have I got that to look forward to? Is she going to beat me up? Four minutes to an ad chat. Well, five minutes, but still. Hey, we got an AC! Hi, fellas. I've never seen one like that before. Must have got a sweet deal from Carla. Send in the punchers and kickers. Send in the clowns. MTs made by our own engineers. When did those hit the black market? They look like Bell Scarmics, but with enhanced firepower and maneuverability. Damn it! This wasn't part of the plan. Stand the son of a whiny coyote. Finish him off, tourist. Got him. Clean as a whistle. Moving on, tourist. Queen is a whistle, sharp as a thistle, best in all Westminster. Figured you could handle this on your own. So I called off my MTs. No time to got some maintenance, anyhow. <laughs> we got company! <laughs> and it ain't dumbass rummy. That one of R.A.D.'s newbies? We'll blow the sky high! Ooh! This one is on you for taking out Rummy. He would have kept watch, at least. I feel like something's shooting at me from over there. Where are those ro- oh, underneath. Repair kits remaining. Hello. Got him. Looks like it's over. Guess I was right to pick you for the job. Got it. And now it's my turn to help you. Oh, she's gonna fire me out of a cannon chat. Nice. See, some of the levels vary tremendously in this game. That was very kill NPCs as quickly as possible. Then sometimes you're punched by a building.
one new message. Hello, it's Carla. Would you like to go on a robot date? Guess you noticed that job from Balaam and decided to take it. I see you're heading for the cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea, I'll give you that. Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. I'm beginning to think that Handler Walter is evil. Uh, back to the part shop. What else can we buy for the cheap? Nothing. We're getting expensive. I'm not good at maths. 70 plus 70 is not 129. Uh, no. Can't afford anything. Uh, let's intersperse. What else have we not tried today? Let's try... We did the melee. We did Stabitha. Let's try thank you very much. Because he is, he is, he is, he is, he is, he is dummy thick. Uh, we're going to do, we need a tiny bit of money, so we're just going to do a very quick replay of... Yeah, let's do that. You make short work of it. This is the mission that we did previously with a completely different mech. I'll stick with 621. The replayability of this entire thing seems exceedingly good. So, if this becomes a game that I just randomly drop into on stream sometimes and I'm like, look, I got this really cool robot, um, that might be a thing. Because I can't mode. wait to stream this game. I'm not, I'm not waiting to stream this game. Okay, this is my tank boy. Um, and so, so, just look. Debbie, stop calling me adorable. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> well, us real red guns are gonna go climb the That's wall. That's not true. This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Goodbye. Can't take yourself away from chat. One of the things I really liked as an ad in three seconds. Hold that thought. Anyone to tag along? Why don't you start a sewing club together and stitch that damn mouth of yours shut? It's a very maneuverable tank. Two targets destroyed. How about that? Because you're not a total amateur. Good for. Can't say I considered you a pro either. We don't need backseat drivers in the red guns. Shape up or ship out. Okay, there's an optional boss over here that I didn't do last time, so that we're going to go over there and do it now. Look, alive, Look, he's down there. Optional boss. Two generators to go. Oh, wee! This game answers Hope the question. I had a point to make. Oh, one of the things I really, and this is probably the difference, this is because I compared this game to how it felt when I streamed Elden Ring. One of the things I really liked in Elden Ring after I'd finished the game in its entirety was experiencing different builds, but doing different builds in that game was extremely complicated. You could either play from scratch and get to the point where you had all the gear, 
and then try the particular build you wanted but then you had to expend one of the items to then be able to switch between builds and you had to spend that item every time you switch so it couldn't be like okay this bit i'm going to do in dex but this bit i'm going to do in strength and this bit there's just not enough of the currency that exists per game thing this is super interesting to me because i'm extremely mad hype about trying out all the different models of robot in different formats and everything and it's entirely straightforward to do that and i and the replayability of it is fantastic because you can go back and do so say you have one mission where you're like oh that felt really difficult but i did it so now i'm going to try it again with a different type of robot and see how that feels it's just there are so many things about this game that tickle my brain it's, mm. my brain is substantially tickled So I'm a tank climbing a mountain. Ooh. Did it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And not having to start over to try another to start is definitely what more games need. I like, don't get me wrong, I'm all for difficulty. I I am really into difficult. Like Especially on stream, because I think it's particularly good content. Elden Ring was a brilliant game to stream because I felt actively challenged the entire time. But flexibility is good too. A game can be difficult, but if it like limits you in some way and it's not as flexible as it could be, that's the bit that I get unhappy about. On that subject, actually, in terms of difficulty and flexibility, I have been thinking about it, especially after doing the 24 hours, and I am probably... Basically, there is an alternative... Basically, there is an alternative game that I want to play in place of Song of Horror, and Song of Horror, I had such a bad experience the last time I played it, it's probably going to be the first game that I quit that I would highly recommend to anybody. I have just run out of steam with it. I have given it multiple weeks... The difficulty is great. It threw a math puzzle at me. I felt stupid, and now I'm going to put it away. But I haven't 100% decided on it yet. I'm kind of waiting to see what this alternative game's reviews look like. The game comes out tomorrow, so I've got a, like a full week before I have to decide if I'm shelving Song of Horror. But if you have enjoyed Song of Horror up until today, I highly recommend you play it. You might get on with the puzzles better than I did. Um... It might still be here, so this could, this entire line of thinking might be moot. But currently, as of this morning, probably not. But we'll find out. Me, you corporate vultures. The Rubiconians will never yield. You're going home in armored coffins. Forged and ash, we stand as one! Hot dog, we got an AC. More like an old piece of junk. Why be a mere pawn? What honor is there in serving corporations that exist only to jank you, scavengers? Father Domayan, I failed you! When I googled it, the major complaint against the game was that the puzzles made no sense to a lot of people, but otherwise Google said it was good. I got to a... It feels weird talking. I'm going to talk about it. It feels but this is sort of a filler week, uh, filler day, so I'm going to talk about it. Song of Horror, and I think I touched upon on this another night. Um, Song of Horror, the last time I played it, there were three puzzles, right? There was the key puzzle, where the game was like, okay, some of these keys are metal, but some of these keys are plastic, but some of these keys are metal and plastic, and they're different colors, so now you have to sort them into a specific order. The idea was that you were picking out the three keys that you would add to a keyring, and it would give you access to the basement. I don't think I'm alone in not being able to interpret the, the, the material a fictional key was made out of in a video game. I was just sort of looking at this stream going, I don't, is that plastic? I don't know. Um... It happened, I, I I did it. 
it's fine. There was a little bit of, like, I, I, I crossed everything out on an image and sort of guessed towards the end and then, like, looking up bits on the internet. It's fine. Um, then there was maths. I'm not good at maths. Um, the maths bit made me feel stupid. So as I was streaming it, I was sat here going, oh my god, I am the thickest person on the history of the planet. That's not a good feeling to have when you're trying to stream and be entertaining. And then we went to a basement and that basement was bullshit um it was a like a like a labyrinth type basement there were all sorts of different corridors and you were constantly being pursued by something and every time you went in one of the doors the camera angle would change so you were constantly trying to keep like orientation to which way down a corridor you were going and i ended up going in a loop like 90 times i lost a character that i'd kept alive up until that point which i was sad about and then I ended up following a guide online to do this, like how I get around this maze and sort of how I independently deal with all of the different camera angle changes. And that was still hard to do. And that was following a walkthrough. Um, but I'm so interested in the lore. I've got to the beginning of chapter three. I, I, I might just read about the lore and then like, I, I might just like load Wikipedia whilst the strip like at the beginning of the next game and be like yeah this is what happens at the end of Song of Horror I'm not finishing it goodbye um but the next game is called Under the Sea it's um like getting lost in the void of the ocean you're a dude you're in a submarine it's by Quantic Dream the same people that did um Detroit with the robots being human Detroit being human Quantic Dream. It's not a David Cage game, but it looks super interesting. It looks like hyper-realistic Subnautica. I don't think it's going to be multiplayer, and I'm pretty sure it's not a survival game. So it's going to be heavily story-based, but it looks pretty cool, and I don't know about you, but the bottom of the sea freaks me out. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see that one. Yeah, that's... um. I'm get, it comes out tomorrow, I'm going to give it 24 hours on reviews, and if it does well on reviews, that's probably it for Song of Horror. If it doesn't do well on reviews, we might give Chapter 3 of Song of Horror a go. Um, that's it. That's me ranting. Sorry. Let's go blow stuff up. I'm a tank and I can't fly! Not very far, but I definitely can. Get on the lift! You got lucky, freelancer. We left shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. And that is thank you very much. I take I take no responsibility for any of these builds. I totally found them on the internet and they are fucking fantastic. I'm not going to credit people because it's not that... It's not like people I'm sure would have ended up at this point with this game anyway. So it's not going to be... It's not sort of a credit thing, but... I don't think it is anyway. Um, if it is, and I'm breaking some sort of moral rule, I can probably find it out. But... Um, yeah, it's just builds of certain robots that I found that I liked on the internet. I don't think I have to quote anybody and say, yes, they came up with this build. It's not a copyright issue. That's probably just me second guessing myself. I'm going to stop talking. Um, I'll not stop talking, but we'll move on. I have slightly not enough money to buy two of those. That's upsetting. What's the cheapest one at the top? 111. 70. 17. We're just slowly working our way down the list, buying two of everything at the same time. Rest of the sea stream is silence. Imagine if I'd done that like halfway through Saturday and just been like, no, I'm not talking anymore. Um Let's go back to the mainstay. Honor of in honor of CCC is currently my favorite. It fires lightning rockets for goodness sake. Missions, ocean crossing. 
I'm gonna get fired out of a fucking cannon. Reached the intercontinental cargo launcher found deep within the outer shell area of upper grid 086. I don't like the number of monies that I get for completing this mission. There is probably a boss. We're continuing through grid 086 toward the intercontinental cargo launcher. As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. That's rude. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder. Carla's nickname? That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. But if the fires happened half a century ago... Well... It could just be some dozer inside joke. Carl is the mortal. Confirmed. Holy shit. Confirmed. I don't like the way that says concludes chapter. There's usually a very large monster to kill. We'll find out. This might be... Our third sortie together, Raven. I'm quite enjoying the routine. This might be the rest of the stream if there's a boss at the end of this that I can't kill. So... Yeah, that might be it. This might be it. This just might be the next hour. Oh, okay. What's everybody doing? Are you having a Are you having a nice day? Main system activating combat. Can I Can I freshen your drink or beverage? Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. Stop calling me but tourist. This, you owe me one. Okay. straight to the top of the grid the outer shell sadly that's beyond my territory i mean once you're out there the pca satellites see everything a few of the stupider dozers took it as a challenge went out to prove themselves you can guess what happened she's even got a pet name for you totally flaying Look, if you want to believe Cinder Carla is flirting with this unnamed person that's flying this robot, that's up to you. I'm nobody to talk. I can't flirt for shit. So... How does Chimkin flirt with Dolly? He goes into the room and licks her on the face. Maybe I'm just a dog. I am the golden retriever, good boyfriend. Um, I don't like the... I don't... I don't like those lasers that are coming from the ceiling. Intruder in forbidden center. Germinating target. Holy fuck! That's a space laser. The lasers from space. I mean, that works. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're going to go with something slightly faster than that. Twat. Um. Oh. Okay, let's go with you. Sparky, bot, sparky, sparky, boom, man. I don't know why it's restart from last checkpoint. I barely start the level. It does work. Look at his shoulders. Him big. AP at thirty percent. I need to dodge those. Hmm. Um. I think I'm doing this wrong. What would be your first clue, Chimkin? Well, I'm getting blown up by space lasers. Intruder detected in forbidden sector. Germany. Haha, you missed! Germany. 
And I'm dead. Thank you, Toby. It's time to spin that wheel. Uh, uh, pirate. Arr. The stream is rated R. That one's very high up the egg. I, I'm just dodging it completely the wrong time. What am I doing? Hmm. Turns out I can't dodge space lasers. There's holes in this. Can I go down there? I mean, it's lovely to be down here, but can I get out of here? Um... There's... There's mobs down here. This must be the way I was meant to go all along. Got him. His little. Well, nowhere to hide now. Brute force is home. Don't get fried. Nice moves, tourist. Ah, tricked you. Terminate. I mean, I got. I got semi f oh stop it. I got semi far just brute forcing that. So maybe it is possible to do it. We have to get up there. We're not that far away. Uh go. Okay. Intruder has escaped satellite range. Raising threat level. We're not far from the cargo launcher. Intruder detected near close facility. Might as well clean up while you're here, tourist. Never did care for the upstairs neighbors. That's what I like to see. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. There. Access the container. And somehow I'm still slightly nervous. And there's the resupply! That generally means a boss. Repair kits remaining. Mm. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. What the fuck? Oh! Wait. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Oh. Yes, you just can't beat the institute. Okay. Jim failed. I'm assuming I can go from the checkpoint. Yes. It's time to brute force it because I'm on stream. <laughs> let's try. It. Let's try the. Let's try the tank. Dial a car with the hydrate. That's not TLB hydrating. When in doubt, brute force it with a tank. Oh no, I'm so slow. Oh, I've sped up and the turning circle is terrible. Can't drive. Forward. 
That way, over there. Thank you. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Holy shit. Holy shit! The crawl this one's from the generator. That's that then. Guess you just can't beat the institute. Holy shit. Um Yeah. And then all of a sudden there's a good there's a boss that'll have to grind on for the next three years. Ooh woo. I don't think I want to be very close to that when it starts firing off its giant laser. Now, if you could just step inside. Also, this thing's legs are terrible. Hello? I touched it last time. Why is the giant sea spider not arriving? Wait. Enemy detected. I do not want to be under it. Holy shit. I need to learn how to get more maneuverable with this thing because it is not maneuverable at all. What's the other tank that I've got? Oh, a significant dip. Better boost speed. Significant. Oh, what's half an hour of me pulling my hair out trying to kill a giant space spider? Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Just get as far away from it as possible. <gasps> that machine. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt from the con. What's it doing here? The coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of bad scientists, tourist. It's exceedingly the mobile. Is That's that then. Nope, it just dead already. The Institute. Oh. That's hella mobile. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a nice light afternoon of uh, playing this game. Oh wait, boss that just absolutely destroys now, me. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. How high can detected. I go? <sighs> that machine. Great. You 
found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? The coral this one's from the generator. It's that lunge it does. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Agnes may have taken the Institute. That dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining. One repair kit remaining. I somehow got pinned in the air. Slightly better. It's a range thing. You have to stay basically away from it at all times, which is quite hard when it can jump the entire length of the arena. And you're piloting a mech that is slow as all hell. Um, that might be more mobile. Let's try Orissa, probably. I've not tried to use this mech against the boss, so it might go absolutely terribly. Look at him with a little wiggly butt. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? A coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. But their dirty work survived. AP at 30%. That's that then. Guess you just can't beat the Institute. That one felt like it was stunning quicker. I need to get better with the mobility on this. I feel like I'm constantly just crashing into shit and getting struck on the head. Try it again. Also, I fat finger the levers on. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? A coral was from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. That dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining.
it's that. AP at 30%. Shoulders hurt. This game's making my shoulders stiff. So. Who are those? See, I made a mistake when I came into this one. I didn't buy two of the matching. Hmm. Let's try that. Songbirds on my shoulder seem to stun it very quickly on the other build, and this mech seems to be slightly more maneuverable than those silly tank tracks. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. Also, I can do this. Which means nothing when I get hit in the air. I like the way it attacks like a spider. The clothes was from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, Jurist. The fires of Ibis may have taken the institute. The dirty work survived. One repair kit remaining. My shit's reloading. AP at thirty percent. Raven, your AC is damaged. Focus on evasive action. Ah, uh, leaves a C weapon out for someone to trip over.
Holy, it's a flying pine cone spider. Major issue I had with that one was that the guns were like, I felt like the handguns were constantly reloading. So are we just slowly turning this back into the other one that I've got just with the legs? So if I do this, then this, but also this, this is just the, this is just the other one that I've got with the fly legs for mobility. Do I switch? Because this one is more tanky. Uh, if I do that and then change the eggs. Ah, uh, because it'll have the booster and the different generator. It's the difference. Uh, him. And then we go assembly. And then we... I want something that can be doing consistent damage. I want the fly legs and I want two songbirds. It's heavy kinetic damage because this guy doesn't have shields. Let's try that. Hooray! Well, no, don't start firing yet. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? The coral is from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Iris may have taken the Institute. Repair kits remaining. It's taking damage. Keep it up, Raven. That one feels better. But it's again the mobility thing. And I keep... Part of me wonders sometimes if this game would be easier to play on keyboard and mouse, but I feel like I would end up ripping the keys off my mouse... Uh, the keys off my keyboard because... Some of the mobility tied to the... I accidentally trigger some of the mobility tied to the... Sticks. The, the Xbox 360 controller sticks. Step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? The coral is smells from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. The dirty work survived. AP. Me attempting to dodge and... No, not restart mission. I kept making that mistake when I was live the other day. Uh, let's just take the death. Raven, your AC is damaged. Focus on evasive action. for someone to trip over.
means I wonder if I can put... He is more... He is significantly more happy. Don't know why it's a he. Don't come at me. Uh, Already has the miniguns. Already has the shoulder thing. The legs are the issue. And if I put them on that, the mech is immediately overburdened. What is the major difference between those two? Part of me is beginning to wonder if I had it right there with this the first time and all this. That's a lot of... Right again. Feeling it out. We only got 15 minutes left anyway. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great. You found a sea weapon. Yeah, the difficulty that is this build. It's a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? A coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists. I can The fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. The dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining. Dodge! better <laughs> and this kids is why i'm probably not going to stream this game on a regular basis because it'll probably take me three nights to be able to kill this guy um assembly That feels correct. The only difference I could do is if I go down to that one, what's the major weight is significant? That boost speed. Let's do something ridiculous. I'm pretty sure it is not going to work, but stab at that. Come on down. I don't think I'm good enough at this game to be able to dodge. I suppose the the difference is now if you could just step inside. This one's a lot more mobile and I can like go left. I touched it. I touched it with my hands. Come on. Boy oi oi. Wait. Enemy detected. Machine. Great. You found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? Coral this one's from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. Yeah, I'm not stunned at that once. Machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. Fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. And I'm still getting hit by that. I need to be locked onto it more. I keep... <laughs> yeah, this is the exact reason that I'm not going to be streaming this game. Because I need to, like... Just no life this for a couple of days. Um... 
feel like this guy is still the closest that we've been, but the mobility is just terrible. He is just, he is, he is not quick. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, enemy detected. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. And I will now what's it doing get here? off the wall! A coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. Hey. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. Fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. The dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining. One repair kit remaining. AP at 50. I had to itch my face. <laughs> ah, okay. Step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? A coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. Fires of Ibis may have taken the Institute. The dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining. AP at Oh, the dodge! AP at 30%. Raven, your AC is damaged. Focus on the base of action. Now for someone to trip up. It's taking damage. Keep it up, Raven. No repair kits remaining. AP at 30%. And it starts flying. You just can't beat the Institute. I would really like to know what it does in that second mode, but I've only managed to get it there twice. <laughs> Both of which have been on stream. It's yet to actually attack once it gets in the air like that. I need to practice those dodges. Oh, my neck. <laughs> shiny pebble, shiny pebble, shiny pebble. No. Step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <sighs> that machine. Great. We found a sea weapon. It's so early. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. <gasps> that machine. Great. We found a sea weapon. That tourist is a sea spider. One of the Institute's relics left to haunt Rubicon. Now what's it doing here? A coral response from the generator. This is no ordinary machine. Be careful, Raven. That machine was created 
by a bunch of mad scientists, tourist. The fires of Ibis may have taken an institute. The dirty work survived. Two repair kits remaining. No. No. Guess you just can't beat the institute. I'm gonna be no lifing this game for the next few days to beat that guy. Holy butts. Okay, we're gonna wrap up there before we watch me do another failed run. Um, okay, let's go to full cam. Oh so we do this thing at the end of, uh, at the end of streams in 2023, um, especially more important considering the amount of support I've had the last couple of days from the community. 24-hour um, stream done. Lots of people, very kind. Um, 10 gifted subs today. Sit back, relax, drop your shoulders and take a minute. I'm glad you exist, chat. It has been honestly a really heartwarming, nice couple of days for me in terms of my Twitch experience. Um, I said something on Twitter or the places where I put my thank you message for the 24 hour stream. Um, Twitch has honestly changed me foundationally. It changes the way I deal with people on a daily basis. It changes like I've got a lot of people in my life these days that I can call close friends because of Twitch. And it's it's really good. So, yeah, in 2024, 600 followers is the target. 25 more followers before the end of the year I think we can achieve reasonably easily um I say that we'll see how it goes um but that's it I'm glad you exist chat thank you very much for the love and support I've experienced over the last couple of days I'm proud of you for all of the things that you will achieve or like the struggles that you'll push past this week I'm proud of you um ensure your pets um Pet insurance is massively important. One of our cats is currently under palliative care and we would have been absolutely screwed had we not had the correct type of insurance for her. Um, she's doing the best that she can. Um, I do not judge if you can't afford pet insurance, but if you can afford pet insurance and aren't paying, I would not wish not having that money on my worst enemy. So please consider it if you're not already. And thank you again, as always, for helping me do weird shit on the internet. That's it. I feel like I've said that multiple times in a lot of ways today. So, but that's like sort of a wrap up of my very busy weekend. Thank you for helping me do Wedge on the internet. Thank you for the love and the support. Thank you for the community that has grown up around me and Dolly Whiskers, who I will shout out now. If you are not already following Dolly Whiskers, please go drop them a follow. They are trying their hardest to get back into streaming. They streamed Baldur's Gate 3 two weeks ago. Um, they have, they're chronically ill, if you don't know already, already, so, like, getting back into a schedule is proving extremely difficult for them, so for the next couple of months, especially with aforementioned palliative care cat, um, their schedule is all over the shop, in fact, they don't have one, but, um, it would be really nice if you tuned in every time they went live, it's gonna be sporadic, but I know they love it, and they, I know they love seeing people in chat when they do come back. Um, we're gonna find somebody to raid! And then I'm going to go read several thousand instructional videos on how to kill that fucking robot spider. <laughs> um, who's live right now? What's in the carrot is live right now. Light is live right now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to raid somebody new that I've not raided before. They're called Mud Veins. They're playing Final Fantasy VI. Um, they followed us the other day. They were uh, they were they were brought in from a raid from Light Demon Maniac, and we're going to raid them for the first time ever. Mud veins, Final Fantasy VI. I like Final Fantasy VI, so if that's like your cup of tea, hang out. Drop a raid emote if you are subbed. There are some raid messages in chat if you're not, and I will see you tomorrow. What day is it today? I've kind of lost track. It's Monday today. I'll see you tomorrow for Minecraft at the same time. Um, enjoy your Tuesday raid button there it is pop 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 the veins go see you later chat <laughs>